Hey, what's poppin' everyone? This is Nine Alien here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to make real bass sounds. Uh, if you know, a lot of the current beats right now are uh, very rock influenced and they have like rock guitar and stuff like that. If you really want to go full force it and you want to like get that rock sound, then this is like the perfect hack for you. So what I'm doing to achieve this sound is a preset in FL Studio called Boo Bass. So Boo Bass is in FL Studio. I don't think it's in any other DAW systems or any DAW software or audio stations. But you could achieve this sound realistically using any bass sound that kind of sounds like a guitar or even using like a guitar sound and just like pitching it down, putting in a sampler. The most important thing that you have to have with your preset or whatever plugin that you're using is the ability for it to have the slide effect like you know how you have like an 808 slide in drill music where it'll just do like the sort of so I'll put a sound in so you can understand it uh, really that's all you're looking for you want a guitar-ish bassist sound that has a lot of like amp to it and you want to make sure that it can do the slide effect. I'll show you what it's supposed to sound like and how you have to achieve that. So as I explain this to you through this screen, I'm also just going to have a video on the screen of my computer just to show you kind of what I'm doing. Uh, because I know sometimes when you explain something, it may not come across auditorily like it will visually. So what I did here was I put a fourth note bass hit uh, with that boo bass, with the boo bass preset that I'm using, with the, with the bass knob turned all the way up, nothing else. Um, so you can hear how that kind of does like a, a gate effect. Um, basically, what you want to do with the guitar when you're playing, like when you're playing a bass guitar. Uh, you're moving up and down the th uh, the frets, which means that you're going to hear a little bit of slide in the pitch, and you're going to hear a little bit of deviation as you play it. So if you want to emulate that on a MIDI, if you're not a very good bass player like myself, this is perfect because if you have that slide effect on your guitar, you can imitate like the frets and like moving up and down on the frets with your fingers. So say, for instance, I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to have those slides in there, you know what I mean? It's going to change the sound of it drastically. So you can hear it here. You can hear that and it doesn't sound as natural as something like this. It just glides well, it glues together the track. Maybe by itself it doesn't sound as realistic, but when you play it with everything put together, it really, really, really helps to create that vibe that you're going for if you're making like a rock type beat. For example, That's how you do the effect. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do anything that you can, share this, share this video, share this account, whatever you can do to support. I really, really appreciate that. Thanks for all the support. We've been getting a lot of really good support recently, especially on our BeatStars. Our BeatStars is in the description if you want to check out some of the beats that I've made. This one is expected to come out soon. Shout out to JTK, he has a track releasing soon, uh, Geeked Up, it was produced by me. Stay tuned, hit the bell, make sure you hit the bell, and turn the six upside down.